is going on everybody I hope all is well welcome I am on my way up north to do some camping in the trees the weather's gonna be changing here soon so I'm gonna be stuck in the desert so I'm trying to do as much tree camping right now as I can uh, I do have some updates for you guys but for right now let's just go ahead and enjoy this drive and get up to camp and I will update you and the stuff that's going on Welcome to camp, guys. Oh my god. Oh. <coughs> oh man, that feels so good. Woo! Felt like I was driving forever. I found my camp spot. It looks pretty cool. I got a campfire ring right here. It needs some work. I did realize on my journey up here, I forgot to put my shovel in my truck, but it's all right because I am not cooking on the campfire. So I have that going for me. There is this thing right here, like this kind of ish TP structure. All right, I am going to figure out how I'm gonna have camp set up, get it set up and enjoy being out here. And then I'll update you guys on uh, everything that's going on.
All right, I got camp set up, all situated. I took a power nap, relaxed a little bit, just recharged, and now I feel good. Okay. Okay, so I do have some updates for you guys. We'll start with the little one and work our way up to the big one. So the little one, my last trip, I was putting my stuff away and I got to my canopy. When I was putting my canopy, like when I was collapsing it in, this bent and I didn't think it was that big of a deal, but when I was putting it up this, um, this trip, I took a real good look and noticed that it's bent really good. You can see like right all the way around. So it got bent up. So this canopy, you know, it's bent on its last, oh, well, I should say this fabric or whatever, the covering has been on its last leg. The frame isn't all that bad. Now it is though, so we'll see how long it lasts. I am planning, so this winter, I'm gonna begin doing upgrades to my truck to make it a capable overland rig. And not only that, but to make it a, um, to make it uh, livable, uh, uh, how am I gonna say this? to make it so I can live out of it for a couple months at a time so I can really, you know, explore and travel the wilderness back countries of not just Arizona, but other states and Canada. So in talking about the canopy, something I have been doing and working on is making a video going over all my camping gear and my setup and just like everything, everything that I have when I go out camping and, you know, the things that I'm going to upgrade, change and all that stuff. And I'm doing that because, you know, I want future reference of where I started, what I had. Because this winter, like I said, I'm planning on doing the upgrades to the truck, well, starting the upgrades to the truck. And so I filmed the video and in filming it, I was like, you know, I just, I wasn't feeling it. I could tell I was doing a bad job, but you know, I, I, I finished filming it and I, and I did, I was like, cool. And when I was done filming it, downloading it and reflecting on it, it, I came to realize, oh my God, I missed a bunch of filming stuff. I forgot to do this, forgot to do that. And I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna scrap that video because even when I started filming it, I just felt off. So I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna scrap it, I'm gonna refilm it. So that's what I did. I scheduled it out, plan planned it. I was like, I'm gonna do it this day, make sure I had everything. And I filmed it, felt good but it didn't turn out good. So I decided on this trip that I am actually going to refilm it for the third time. <sighs> so that's kind of a um, pain in the butt. <sighs> All right, time for the big news, big update. So I'm gonna give a little backstory, but I'll tell you what the big news is first. So I am going to Ohio to visit my grandma, my aunt, uh, that is uh, flying in from Brazil to visit her mom, my grandma, and a cousin of mine uh, from Brazil as well is coming to visit. So I'm going to visit them. And I'm also going to tell them and my family that I am a YouTuber. Nobody knows. <laughs> and now I wanna tell you why nobody knows. So the backstory. So starting, so in 2022, towards the end of it, I told myself starting in 2023, not a New Year's resolution. I don't believe in those. I think those are, a, you know, a huge disappointment and just like they mess with your mind. But I told myself starting in 2023, I'm going to begin the process of connecting my mind, body and spirit because in no way, shape or form were they connected. And I was just all over the place because but prior to that 2023, things that were in my control and out of my control were just, they were negative, bad, just downhill, not good things. And so, I, you know, after the year and year after year and year after year of all that happening, uh, when it was, I could see things starting to settle down, I was like, all right, 2023 is the year to begin the process of connecting the mind, body, and spirit. And that's what I started to do. And in all of that, you know, going out camping, filming, being on YouTube, that was, uh, it was uh, a dream of mine. So I finally started to do it. 
And I told myself, I was like, I'm gonna give myself a full year to just commit, go out camping, go out exploring, film, edit, and do that whole thing. And after that year, you can take a step back and really, you know, go over the past year, see did you like it, did you not like it? Is this really for you? Is this not really for you? Is this a path you wanna take? Is this not a path you wanna take? And that year came and went, and I see no end in sight in this. I enjoy coming out here, filming, camping, doing all this stuff. And the reason I did not tell my family, my friends, there's maybe like a handful of people that know, and that's about it. But the main reason I kept quiet and made sure nobody knew is because I didn't want the noise. Um... So, okay, so there's positive and negative, good and bad. There are different levels, variations, degrees of all of it. Some are interchangeable. Some things could be, you know, positive. Some things, you know, turned a different way could turn into be negative. Good and bad, same thing. So I didn't want any of the negative or bad individuals to kind of, I didn't want that noise. So I just kept my mouth shut. And, you know, I did my thing and, you know, it's, I'm in a great place. I am happy. Not all the time, but I mean, you can't be happy all the time. Uh, and so I was like, when my aunt from Brazil, cause I knew, you know, over six months ago that she was going to come visit. I was like, when she comes visit, I'm going to go visit, meet up. And that's when I will reveal I'm on YouTube. I'd say wish me luck, but it's it already happened when you're watching this. So, hey family. That is the camp setup. I will say, man, this spot, it's like we are immersed in the trees and I love it. Especially now that the, the weather is changing. It's, oh, let's see what the temperature is right now. Let's come over here and take a look. Oof, can't beat it, man. 74 degrees, breeze comes in and out, man. It's nothing but beautiful. But this weather, and I was looking at the weather, it's, it's planning on, you know, going down. So getting ready to do some desert camping. So just trying to soak up all the tree, as much trees as I can. I am kind of curious if someone actually like had a tarp and like did like an actual like teepee type thing with this. But that's pretty cool. All right, so I think maybe in an hour I'll work on the fire ring and I'll just fix it up a little bit. I'm not gonna do too much cause I don't have a freaking shovel with me um, because my, my shovel broke and the other shovel I have I forgot to bring. I do have to do a little walk around though and find like a little stick or not like a little stick, like a good like stick branch, something to poke around the fire and even help like move some of the rocks around so I can loosen it up and fix it up. Another thing is I wish I had a freaking chainsaw and an ax because I could have chopped that up, that up, that and that.
sunset all but went. It was it was all right, you know, nothing spectacular. I'm in the trees, so I really didn't see much. I ended up having to completely relocate the fire so it was right there. And I was able to get like a bunch of pine needles and like stuff to help cover it up so it doesn't look that obvious. The only reason I did that was because when I started poking around and digging around, the amount of foil, glass, and like just trash I saw in there, I was like, there's no way I'm going to have a fire because the off chance something is still in there, it's going to burn and then the gases will burn and I might inhale it. And I was like, I, I don't want to deal with any of that. I don't want to worry about it. So I was like, I'm just going to relocate it right next to it. And that's what I did. And it looks good. But now, um, so I prepped some of my dinner. I'm just making tacos, uh, beef tacos tonight, keeping it simple. Um, so I did shred and cut up everything. All I have to do is make the ground beef, um, which I have it here thawing. I forgot to take it out of the, the freezer last night. Cool, it's ready to go. I also, I did forget a couple, I wanna say super important things, but things that would make it easier. So I forgot um, something to like dr uh, strain the, like the juices and the fat from the meat when it's done cooking. I forgot freaking the grater to shred the cheese and I forgot my hot sauce. So those kind of suck, but I can still have awesome tacos.
<clears throat> there we go my food is done and this is what it looks like I think the cheese worked out how it how uh, how I put it <clears throat> all right now I guess it's time to taste it where's my water here we go Mm-hmm. Yep, that is delicious. <clears throat> would have been better if I had some, uh, what call it? Would have been better if I had some, uh, hot sauce. Still good, though. This is the spot, man. Mm. All right, guys. <clears throat> I'm going to enjoy my food, the fire, my evening. And I'll catch you guys at some point in the morning tomorrow. Good morning, everybody. Oh, still kind of waking up. Slept in, too. So, the agenda today is just to kind of enjoy the fire. I walked around a little bit, and I found some good chunks of wood, so I added that to the fire. All right. So, I'm just going to enjoy the fire, my morning, and then probably when the fire is done, I'm probably gonna pack up and get out of here just so I can get home and uh, clean, organize, and just get ready for my travel day tomorrow. All right, guys, this is where I'm gonna leave you. So just like normal, I appreciate you. Remember, it is only impossible until it no longer is, and hopefully I'll see you next time. All right, take care, guys.